Hey everyone, um, just wanted to share everybody um, this really cool app there that's out there for iPad. Have you ever wanted to run Mac OS X or better yet uh, Photoshop, a full-fledged Photoshop on your iPad and not just that uh, uh, Photoshop Express they've got going on the App Store right now? Well with this app you can. What's this, this app is called Air Display. What it's meant for is using your iPad as an external display for either your Mac or PC. But one of the cool features of this app is you can actually interact with your computer from your iPad. So what I've done is I've actually made my iPad, the way it works is it actually goes through your Wi-Fi and connects to your your PC or Mac through the Wi-Fi and makes a, a secondary display through that. What I've done is I've made my iPad a primary display and uh, you can then walk away from your computer and sit down on your couch and work on Photoshop stuff right right from your iPad. So uh, let's uh, show it off real quick. As you can see, let me just focus in. As you can see, it's a full-fledged Mac OS X right here on my iPad. And we'll go ahead and just open up Photoshop here. There we go. As you can see, I was just messing around here on Photoshop with the picture. You can go ahead. And the thing that sucks is you can't use your keyboard. I mean, you can if you're sitting in front of your computer. But when you're away from it, you obviously can't use it. But you can still control a lot of the stuff from the screen. So, for instance, if I wanted to go ahead and focus in, or focus out, I can just go ahead and hit the zoom from right there on the toolbar. And just go to fit to screen. And of course, you wanted to add some effects. You can, you can, you just turn these off real quick. You can go ahead and add your effects just like normal. Let's go ahead and put like a, I don't know a photo filter on here real quick. Put a nice photo filter on here. Let's just change the color to something else. Move that out so we can see it. Well, let's go with like a, a blue. Okay. And then, you know, change the intensity. Like I said, I'm doing all this right here from my iPad. And say um, you wanted to go ahead and, and just make one part of it blue, like the sky. Well, I can just go over here to edit, just like I would on my computer. Go to fill. And just fill it with black. And then just grab the brush. And of course, just color it on. And of course, you can make all your changes um, right up here, just like you would in OS X. It's the same exact program. It's just you, you know, it's a little it's a little weird doing this without your hotkeys, but um, it's still, you know, pretty nice to be able to walk away from a computer, sit down, and do this from your iPad. So I just wanted to share this with you guys. Um, if you ever wanted to use a full-fledged Photoshop on your iPad, you can do so now, eh, basically, from your main computer to your iPad. So, yeah, if you have any questions, just go ahead and post a comment, and I, I will try to help you out. All right, thanks a lot, everybody.